Hello everyone and uh, welcome. Welcome if you're new to my channel. Uh, welcome, welcome. So, okay, so I'm going to do a reading on this because I, I predicted that that, that, that I predicted, I, I did an intuitive reading and I said that um, the awkwardness around uh, Megan and Archie and, and Harry and Archie is because they don't, do not have any much contact with that child, uh, with Archie, because there is, there is uh, nannies, nannies that uh, mainly look after Archie and I've said this and I did a reading on this that um, they don't really have a bond with Archie. Now is this proving my point here of, of my intuitive energy reading because um, well, they, again, Megan has been caught out on camera, uh, taking, going out for a walk with Archie. And why, why is, you see, not many mothers would do, take two dogs out for a walk and, and, and do, do everything. Take two dogs out for a walk. And, and take Archie uh, out for a walk too at the same time. Now she has got two uh, police bodyguards behind her. So are they kind of refusing to hold the dog's leads for her? Because as I can see it there, Megan is struggling. Megan is struggling. That harness is falling off. Uh, one shoulder of that harness is is off. That is very dangerous for that child. Um, that means that 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 baby is not secure in that harness. That also means that the harness is loose and it's not. Um, you know, it's not that the the uh, the buck buckles have not been tightened. Uh, properly um, and and um, you know the harness is is not secure uh, that is that is taking a big risk but that doesn't seem to phase Megan does it she's got her eyes on the dogs instead here in this footage and the, the bodyguards are, are they refusing to have anything to do with uh, apart from, you know, that's not my job to make sure that you, um, you're, you're coping by taking your dogs um, at the same time for a walk as, as this harness falling off off your shoulder here. You know, we don't want anything to do with that. So this is, this is a bit strange, uh, guys, um, because also... She's also threatening to to sue sue the tabloids again, sue the paparazzi, UK paparazzi. Again, is it the UK? I think so, don't you? Uh, she goes out struggling to take her dogs at the same time as, as taking Archie. Everything's going pear-shaped here and nobody's helping her. So if she doesn't want to get caught on camera to show that she's a great mom, that she can do everything, that she can take care of her dogs and that she really cares about her dogs, obviously more than she cares about Archie because that harness looks unsafe and that baby is hanging out of that harness there. So... Oh my God, because, you know, really, this is really proving that, that my prediction of her just having nannies and not really having much involvement. Because who would do that? Who would take a dog and have, have the baby hanging it off her shoulder like that? 
and making sure, sure that the dogs are okay and having a great big grin on her face here at the same time why not ask one of them burly guys there to just pull you know pull in that buckle that strap to tighten that harness up so Archie's not hanging out and you know Archie's like there wouldn't that kind of damage the the uh the you know the um ball and socket there of that uh, hip joint uh that's hanging more this this side here um i'm sorry i'm not being mean but th that looks very dangerous and and all she's doing is looking at the dogs and not looking at archie uh, although um, she's got these two bodyguards, one's on the phone, looks like he couldn't give a damn. The other one is uh, scratching his head, what are we doing here? And, um, and, and she is doing this all alone. And I just wanted to do a little bit of a close-up here. Um, oh, that baby Archie is hanging out of that harness. And she's got a big smile on her face. And the strap is hanging off her shoulder. That baby could fall onto the floor at any moment. And she is smiling. Oh, she's got her rings on too. Look, she's got her rings on. Um, Harry is doing what I told him to do. So I've put my rings back on. I'm very happy, I've got what I wanted and all of these things are okay. So what's your thoughts guys? Because what I pick up here is that there are a team of nannies as I have, have, have I picked up before intuitively and Megan does not look after that child. Um, if that does not look awkward in the way she is carrying I mean she's not even got her hand round um, you know where she's got her thumb there wouldn't you secure that around the uh, shoulder area it, especially if you you're thinking that that he's gonna fall out of the harness at any any moment um but no and and there is pressure on his little arm there uh, of trying to keep him and and his hip joint where that strap is so wrongly placed uh, that the harness is hanging off and that black strap there around uh, around uh, Archie's little hip joint is is kind of not great not great and and apparently uh she she did not give permission for these photographs to be taken but why is she walking down this lane when she possibly knows that all the cameras are going to be out there why would she be trying to struggle with archie like that with a harness and take her dogs at the same time i mean that's ludicrous ludicrous so in fact dangerous dangerous you need two hands to be able to secure archie not just one so let me let me do a reading on this um was i right to say that she has not got a clue how to deal with archie how to even strap on a harness properly to secure him pro properly and um, she has no responsibility of that. So let's do a reading on this. Hi everyone, and I just wanted to look at, does Megan have much hands on with, uh, with Archie? Because every time, you know, well, every time you see her, she seems as if uh, she doesn't have, um, she doesn't hold the baby prop like that. Like the uh, time when um, the photographs of 
of the polo match there and uh, she was just holding Archie a bit strange there too um, and with this uh, hanging out of this harness here so let's have a look at this um, does she have much hands on hands on with with Archie does she have much hands on with Archie does she have much hands on with Arch Archie well <clears throat> uh, there is lots of rapid uh, swift movement at the moment rushing around um, coming back to Canada and uh, to Archie who is who is with um, who is with the nannies who is with the nannies no doubt so there is this swiftness here of flying here with this arrow flying through the air flying here flying there so I don't particularly see there's much um, interaction with Archie uh, they're too busy it seems it's, they're too busy but they've got a son okay um, and there is there is this stress too of of you know separating from the royal family so lots of stress around Megan so I guess this is not an excuse but she sees this as like I'm busy I'm so, so stressed out with this royal situation and 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 you know I'm flying here there and everywhere so um, you know can you can you have Archie because I, I'm too kind of I've got too much going on here I, I, I so is this an excuse well she she can do this can't she you know she she has a lot of money and so does Harry so they can afford to do this you know your everyday person would not would have to get through this you know without um, with you know without uh, any help so the ten of pentacles here the ten of pentacles is family life and stability and prosperity so she has got some kind of stability the ten of pentacles which is financial stability the ten of pentacles is financial stability although she does not have psychological stability in terms of the stress of the flying around here there and everywhere she has the money but not the stability of her emotions and that's why she hands over Archie to the nannies okay and this is the Queen uh, the anxiety around giving up the royal status and stepping back from the royals but that's got nothing to do with but she's going to put that on this look I, I can't cope with this you know for the last year um, I've had to deal with uh, the queen and the courtiers and all this establishment here, there and everywhere. I don't have time to be with Archie. And the tower card. The tower, everything is crumbling. Everything is, um, you know, I, I, she couldn't even hold the baby bump properly. Never mind a harness, you know, a harness with a, a real baby in it. Okay. The Ace of Wands is a new beginning. So she sees this as a fresh start. But is, are the paparazzi, are the media, the world media, the global media going to follow them? Because that's why they're getting away from the UK because of the newspaper tabloids and paparazzi. But, <coughs> and I am going to do a live reading on this, are the paparazzi going to actually follow the world media, the global media, follow Megan because they've taken these photographs here and you know and it's like uh, and and well did she know about these photographs taken and I will do a reading on that okay 
Now I have here, um, they want a fresh bit new beginning for their relationship because they're blaming it on the royal family. It's not working here, it's not working there, it's not working there. So let's blame it on the royal family. Got to blame it on somebody, okay. So there is radical change here. This card means, which is the Prince of Swords, means radical change of lifestyle, routine, friends, air travel. So that's next to Harry and Meghan, the new beginning. That's very poignant. So there's been too much going on to, to have anything to do with Archie. We've had to deal with this, we've had that to deal with that. We we just haven't got time. Oh, please take Archie. I'm so upset. I can't deal with this. Uh, so, yeah, they want justice. They do want justice. I don't feel they've even, you know, I don't feel they've even tried to get close to Archie as yet. But there is this situation here where Megan is looking to get pregnant again, okay. But this time, is she going to have, have a surrogate because she's out of the way in Canada? Uh, nobody would see her fake pregnancy belly and nobody would guess that. Is that, that the reason? Because maybe Megan is pregnant already she wants to get all of the paparazzi the media away from they want they want privacy why maybe they want privacy because they don't want to be scrutinized like they were scrutinized when megan was carrying that fake baby bump okay i get she's pregnant or she'll be pregnant soon or she's planning on another surrogate child and that's why they've got that that's why they want their privacy they don't want any more uh paparazzi following them because they don't want close-ups of any straps or, or or fake bellies that are wobbling everywhere or or, or fake bellies going up and down you know so um yeah so okay so this is what this is guys oh i'm too busy i'm too emotional to get involved with uh, archie but we're going to we're organizing another child and another surrogate here that's why we want the cameras out of the way that's why we want to be secluded in canada that's why we don't want anybody interfering with our lives because we want another surrogate child to give Archie a brother but maybe a brother or sister but what about a mother and, and father because they've not been present have they she doesn't even know how to hold that child gonna leave it there guys um that's the reading I get. Make what you want from this. Maybe I shouldn't have said this, but this is what's coming through. It is a card reading, okay? Has anybody thought that she may be going to Canada because she's planning on another surrogate child? And maybe, you know, standing back from the royal family, oh, we can always return to it at a later date after we've gone through another kind of surrogate debacle okay food for thought well we will follow this story uh the live show that i'm going to do this evening is about um are the paparazzi going to follow the global media it's not just british media global are they going to follow um let's let me find out about that with the live show Thank you and put your comments down below and uh, thank you so much and um, and maybe I'll give you a little time to chat uh, to so you can interpret this. In fact, I will look at this with my own cards. 
are they going to have another surrogate is this why they're being private getting out of the way going off grid because they don't want their surrogate to be seen and all this debacle of carrying maybe we don't have to do a full fake belly next time because nobody can see us we're going to ban all kind of media coverage uh, and we will just agree to who takes photographs okay right okay i think we've sussed this out don't you guys yeah they're moving to canada um well i feel canada to begin with but i feel it's la um messages messages um well a lot of it is to get away from the scrutiny and a lot of it is to do with meditation self-love getting back to who i am and my friends and all that kind of thing and taking time out to meditate introspection what was this all about why did i get involved with the royal family what happened there i like a, a movie of megan's life it's all about megan this is all about Megan. Well, we don't want the scrutiny of cameras, uh, close-ups of my belly, because that will be uh, the thing next time, okay? They know. So, um, yeah, health reasons why they've gone a little bit off-grid. And uh, trying to get themselves grounded, trying to get this, more children coming too, earthy earthy the earth mother um lots of air travel and air travel backwards and forwards to la i don't feel it's just canada i think they're looking at a property in, in la and get air travel backwards and forwards to la about a property uh also frogmore frogmore okay backwards and forwards and this is just absolute crazy town crazy town crazy town and they just want justice they they just want to be justice so they can get along with having surrogate uh, mothers uh not not wobbling that belly around anymore and um and and no kind of real close-ups of 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 the shoulder straps and things like that okay so what i pick up here is they're doing it because they want another surrogate that's what i get here and i did pick up on her pregnancy i thought she would carry this herself but oh no she i don't think she wants to carry this child or she can't carry this child uh a second child so uh another surrogate i feel okay thank you for watching please put your comments in the chat and also in catch up please put your comments in catch up wow wow i didn't expect this to come out thank you and goodbye